go. Ah, yes. We're continuing to fly. We're continuing. I don't even know what that looked like on the stream. I had it uh, blocked out. But yeah, I totally have that. I totally have that. <clears throat> Full tang. That's the, that's the name for it. Art of manliness. Nice. We're still not out of fuel on this one. Every man should carry a pocket knife. Nice. <laughs> what did that make it up to? That one went to 101. So that one actually took a... That got a little bit more. I think, what did I do? I measured it when it left the atmosphere. What it was when it left the atmosphere. I think is what it was. We don't think Das is crazy because he has a knife. We think he is because he is. <laughs> yes, exactly. People carry knives, but that's a different story. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's Kerbal Knife Academy. Everybody runs faster with a knife. That is the tang. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I didn't know the actual term off the top of my head. I know the important thing is that the shank or the the handle is all one piece. The knife is one piece of metal. It's not a plastic, winky little thing, and then an actual blade. So look at this. This one here. When we left the atmosphere, we were at 101.5, right? 101.500, basically, is what it was when we left the atmosphere. So look at the different thrust to weights. If we launched with a lot of thrust to weight, we made it out. If we launched with not enough thrust to weight, look at how far we got. We didn't get nearly as far with the exact same delta V. We just throttled the engine. That's all that we did. And we launched at the appropriate thrust to weight. We got 101500 ish right? Solaris, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. We're doing a help desk, and I'm answering some questions right now. So that right there is why... That is why, Super Dork, you're already good to go. Um, you're already good to go. If, it's, if you got that error, it means that you're good to go. Humor me with a 1.6 thrust to weight. Igor Perusku... Yes, we can totally do a 1.6. It's not. It's not. It's not, uh... Kamuchi, I could have swore that I had you on Steam. I could have swore you've told me something on Steam before. Really? Is that not a thing? Or... I could have swore. You're so confused why 1.7 was higher than 3.05. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let's see. Let's go ahead and let's look at this. We wanted to look at 1.7 or something instead. Let's launch it at uh, 1.6 and see what we get. Let's launch it at 1.6 and see what we get. So there's two. There's one. 1.7. 1.60. You want a 1.60, right? So let's test it with 1.60. And see what we get. Throttle up, panel lock, SAS engage, 3, 2, 1, space. Alright, I'm just gonna let it fly. 2.5. We can make a curve. 2.1 is not the best. 2.1 is definitely not the best. I want you to watch something during this launch. Do you see this atmospheric efficiency? This is how close we are to terminal velocity. This is how close we are to terminal velocity. So, what's going on here? We don't want that to go a lot higher than 100%, we don't want it to be too much lower than 100%. We want that we want that atmospheric efficiency to be just as close to 100% as we can get it. We want to be as close to 100% as we can get it. If it's above 100%, then we're fighting the air too much. We're pushing past the air too fast, and when we push past the air too fast, that means that we are fighting air resistance. We're fighting drag, which doubles, or what is it? It increases with the square of velocity. Schmid, Schmiddle, 92, thanks for the follow, or just Schmid, thank you for the follow. What we're doing, if that gets over 100, is we're fighting atmospheric efficiency too much. If it's too low, sorry, we're fighting atmospheric drag too much. If it's too low, if it's too low, then that means that we are not leaving the gravity well soon enough. You see what the problem with 6.0 is? When you get to 10,000 feet, it starts to drop like a rock. Or 1.6. 1.7 takes you a little bit more than that. But let's see what we get from this. You launch with 2.0 and 8K Delta V. You're wasting Delta V then. You're, wa you're wasting Delta V then. If you're launching with 2.0 and not throttling back, I should, I should add that, and not throttling back... Um, the thrust to weight, depending on how much of that mass is fuel, because as the fuel turns away, it would make some sort of difference. Um, in KSP, most of the engines, most of the engines stay, they burn the fuel at a rate that keeps you right about there. Um, most of the engines have about the same amount, right? 
they have about the same amount of burn rate. So I've never really found any sort of statistical difference. I think that there's a, a theoretical difference, but in terms of what you can see in the game, look at how much lower we are with that. We are at 98. We're not even out of the atmosphere. We've already lost to 1.7. We've already lost to 1.7. I'll check it right when it gets to 70. I mean, if you're going to go at 1.6, you might as well go at 3.05, honestly. Unfolded Comet, what's going on? The point is that 10k, you do the pitch program, the atmospheric efficiency goes out the window. That's a valid point. That's definitely a valid point. So that one there made it 98.280. Come on, 280. I'm going straight up like that. So 1.6 was less than the 1.7. Kujiban knows how it works in real life. Where was that at? Ah, Igor Peruscu, we've actually done an entire stream where we tried to do that, and no matter what we did, what we did, look at what Igor's saying right here. Let me go ahead and pull this down. There we go, that's less screeny. Igor, I will be happy to prove this to you. I did an entire stream when I was doing my lifter efficiency stream to prove that that is wrong. Because what you're doing, what you're saying that you need to do is throttle up so that you reach terminal velocity faster. The problem is, that means that you've got engines you're going to have to throttle back. And when you have to throttle back an engine, you're carrying wasted engine weight. So a rocket that can do that is carrying engine weight that it doesn't need. And what you gain in reaching terminal velocity faster, you lose in the additional weight of the engine that you're carrying. That is, there was somebody who was in here trying to convince me that that was the right way to do it. And we tested it over and over and over again for four hours straight. And we found that nothing we could do with that higher thrust to weight would get us any more delta V because we'd have to throttle back and we would lose it to the mass of the engine, the overbuilt engine that we were carrying. So if you have extra engines anyways that you have to carry for whatever reason, then it makes sense. But building a rocket with a higher 2 point, somebody was trying to tell me it's 2.1, 2.2 on the pad, throttle it down to keep it at 100, no matter what, 100% of the time that was coming out to be less delta V less efficient than just having the rocket at 1.7 on the pad because 1.7 on the pad didn't need to carry the extra weight of the engine that was getting throttled back. That is what we are doing. That is what we are doing. Ah, uh, yes. It's... <laughs> 1.7 is easy to remember. It's actually 1.6 something. It's actually 1.6 something. Um, by throttling down, no, by throttling down, you decrease your thrust to weight. But when you throttle down, you're carrying engine mass that you're not using for throttle. You're carrying engine mass that you're not using to burn. So when you're throttling something to 50 or 75% or whatever to stay at atmospheric efficiency, every bit of that engine that you're carrying, that you're throttled down, you don't need that engine there. It's extra weight that you have to carry into orbit. We couldn't do anything. We couldn't come up with any combination of engines that this made sense, ever throttling back. Not only does it make it's more complicated to fly, but we tested it over and over and over and over again, and we could not make that get more delta V than just 1.7 on the pad. I thought it would be, I thought that it would be that as well. I thought that it was that as well. You have slight extra speed above VT, you need to throttle it back slightly so you can get, get an ideal engine. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So that's, somebody was telling me you need to carry a bunch of extra engines for the first push and then get rid of them or whatever. So we tried and tried and tried and we could not get, we could not get that to be better, more efficient than 1.7. It's probably 1.68 or 1.67 or something like that. Because watch, I'll launch it with 1.7 again and watch what happens with 1.7. That one got up to 97% at max, I think, right? If I launch it, if I launch this thing with 1.7, it's going to go slightly over. Right about the time that you're supposed to be beginning your pitch program, it's going to go slightly over. Alright, so let's do that. Throttle up panel lock SAS and cage. Throttle the engine down to 1.7 on the pad. Oh man, I can't get it exactly 1.7. Ah! 1.69 then. Let's do that. So let's just go ahead and throw the panel because it's engaged. Yes, three, two, one, space. All right, let's see how this one goes. And watch this number this time. Watch this number this time. This will climb up. It should climb up to just over. 
There, finally got the kernel center of the answer. Rhoda, you are welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. Now do 1.65. Thank you, Rhoda. That was a great question, and I haven't demonstrated it like this in a while. It's been weeks and weeks and weeks since I demonstrated it. Um, that was an absolutely great question. In fact, that question was so awesome. Here, have some extra credit. Rhoda, there you go. Have some extra credit, man. That was such a great question. That really, hey, come on. Bot, wake up. Add the extra credit. Why is it not adding the extra credit? Where is the bot? Dong, where is my bot? Where is my bot? Where is my bot? And that makes sense. Igor, that makes sense dropping the extra engines when you don't need them anymore. That makes sense. But I just don't think that in Kerbal Space Program, there's enough of a difference for anybody to know. Did you get it? I didn't see it go through. Spartan, did you get it to work? No, that was the autocomplete. The capitalization shouldn't matter. How are we doing? Are we still going straight up? Yeah. Is it out of fuel yet? No. Oh, we didn't even watch the atmospheric efficiency I was trying to add. <laughs> we didn't even watch it. It was 98.7%. That's as high as it went. 98.7%. Oh, I didn't even watch it. My bad. Why is so FI bots working, but why did it not add anything? I didn't watch it. I wonder if 1.75 would be better, right? 1.8 would be better. He said 2.0, you, you use real solar system, 2.4 scale, 4 x model and skimmy. Yeah, Jam Session, if you start screwing up your game like that, um, you will definitely get different numbers. <laughs> the numbers that we teach in Kerbal Space Academy is not... I'm going to try it again. I can't add anything to... I don't know what the deal is. There you go. Okay, that came in. All right, there you go. I don't know. There you go. It works. F5 bot's working. I need to watch this again. So it went up to 98.7. Yeah, the numbers don't apply in far near. Da -da -da. It never went past 1.0. Oh, okay, it never went past 1.0. Nice, thank you, the max. Um, Why don't we try 1.8? Since we're testing things, right? Throttle up, panel lock, SAS engage. I don't know why I'm blocking the panel. I'm not even paying attention to the rocket. All right, so that's higher. Watch what it does this time. Let's see what it gets at 1.8. That's close enough, 1.8. Yeah, there you go. You can use them to enter uh, giveaways and stuff. I totally appreciate people who participate in my chat, and I give out extra credit for awesome questions, that sort of stuff. Porter John, man, thank you for hanging out. You've been doing a lot of really cool stuff. I do appreciate you. I do appreciate you. You tried 6.4 and it's nice. I will. I probably won't ever stream that, just because it takes longer to do the exact same stuff. I've said that before. People know that that's my. Why do I look so washed out? I'm just too bright with this new camera. <laughs> Thanks, Professor M. <laughs> Wait, how many credits do I have? I don't actually know. Let's check. Credits: 182 hours. I have streamed for 182 hours. That's my job. Yeah, Rhoda, that was a great question. Thank you for that. Das is a beast. It's my job. It's my job. It is my job. That one went up to 101, I saw. It went up to like 102 or 101. I wonder. I'm just too bright. <laughs> I did look like a zombie yesterday, Kamuchi. Um, did you ever get me on Steam? Or do you not have Steam? I could have swore that you were on Steam talking to me. I do not have you on Steam. I'm an idiot. I, I. Do you even have Steam? <laughs> I don't even know. Kamuchi, <laughs> do you have Steam? Alright, we just ran out and it was all the way up to 104. So 1.8 may actually be a little bit more efficient than 1.7. Paranoid Carrot, I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Oh, you just woke up, so that wasn't me. <laughs> you just woke up. You joined the group. Let me see if I can get you out of the group. Manage group members. 
Huh, I don't know what your name is on Steam. <laughs> Does it have something to do with Kamuchi? <laughs> Where is it at? Where is it at? What is your name? What do I search for? Oh, we just left the atmosphere and went at 104. Look, 1.8 actually got us to 104 point something. 104, 100 or something. Did y'all see what that was? Look at that. Excellent. Kamuchi, why does that not come up when I search for it? I do not see you. This is terrible. Ah. Ah, whatever. Yeah, we do have a Steam group. Absolutely, there's a Steam group right there. So that got us to 104 and change. You want me to test 1.5? I'm actually surprised that 1.8 is better than 1.7 by a non I'm honestly wondering I'm honestly wondering if that's accurate I'm honestly wondering if that's accurate because we're flying straight up the entire time you know what I mean we're flying straight up the entire time you want me to do 1.75 I think I can probably only get 1.74 I'll do 1.76, I guess. Let's try 1.76. 1.755. I can explain by 1.8 did this trick. I think after we got up there, you'll need a lower thrust to weight. Slap a less efficient engine on there and you'll need a lower thrust to weight. Because it's getting out, because it's getting out of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We need to test this with MechJab to orbit. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Somebody else is more than welcome to. Do 1.7 and 1.8 with a pitch maneuver. Ah, but by that time, you really get to the point where you can't tell any difference. It's because of the efficiency of the engine down low, because we're getting out of there. If that's true, then the higher efficiencies would be better. Let's try this. 108 went to 103.88%. Bad Nubius. Whoosh. I'm so terrible. I made it public. No, I totally just made it pu Oh, your profile was hidden. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You're still not in the Steam group. I can't find you. Can you find me? <laughs> I'm probably easier to find. <laughs> ay, 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 because I cannot find you in the Steam group. Um, Professor M. that. I can't get the clouds working, but I've got this ugly flare. <laughs> which Kamuchi will probably disagree with. Which is fine. Beware the Ides of March. I'm just gonna search for you. Okay, come on. How do I search for people? I can't actually search for people. That's so annoying. How is this one doing? What did the max get to? You added a comment to the main page. 101.67. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. I'm not even watching. <laughs> Let's see if this is the balance between getting out of dodge. All right, all right. Now y'all watch to see. See, look at that. That's not as high as the other one, though. That didn't get us to 1.04. You know something? I did that, Roadstar. I did that. There's a, quite a few people named Kamuchi. Actually, there's three people named Kamuchi that I'm finding. So I just need to go to the groups. <laughs> I hate Steam. Steam is so freaking terrible. Steam is so freaking terrible. There you go. Yeah, I didn't even find that one. <laughs> They're with a wave. Nice. Alright, there we go. Invite sent. Aha. Uh -huh. Last online 16 days ago. Not a, advent, not a very staunch user of uh, Steam, huh? So that is going to be less no matter what than 1.8. 
Of course, now the question is, what if we do 1.9? <laughs> this is bugging me. One point eight is the new hotness. Yeah, but what if we do one point nine and it goes even higher? One oh three five. Alright, I'll do one oh three five. But see, at some point we're splitting hairs, right? We've we've demonstrated the basics of don't go too slow, because that's terrible. And don't go too fast, because you'll be less efficient. But we're only going up to one oh one oh Ah, 10 kilometers, right? 10 kilometers. And then we're going to do a pitch program. And we have an engine that has a certain atmospheric efficiency that's going to increase at a certain rate. So like Igor was saying, like Igor was saying, this is actually going to vary based on the engine you use and that sort of stuff. Yeah, use a copy of KSP. So I, don't, I agree, Kamuchi. I don't like being on Steam either. It's not really my thing. So I just tried to add you. I think you have to confirm it. <coughs> it says invitation sent. Yeah. But see, what if we do. Let's try 1.9 just to see if it holds. Somebody just told me what this was 1035. Alright, 1035. I breathe steam. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the height if you properly throttle all the way up? Uh, that's a good question, Warhammer. That's actually a good question. That is a great question, honestly. Steam is so terrible. There's no way for me to send you a message. <laughs> so annoying. There we go. Okay. We'll send a message already. Did my chiptunes die? I hate steam. I hate steam. Graph away. You didn't want it low to- yeah, that's exactly right. In rounds. Let's try one where we throttle it the, the right way the whole way. Let's see what we try one where we throttle it the whole way, the, the right way the whole way. So let's revert the flight back to the launch. I'll throttle it. Oh my gosh. It's pretty bad right now, honestly. So we're going to want to launch it at full throttle. I don't know what's going on. I can't click. I can't do anything. It doesn't work. I'm just going to restart Steam. I'm going to try to throttle it correctly the whole way, and I'm going to pull back the throttle anytime that goes over 100. That's what we're going to do this time. So let's try it. Let's try this time. What was that? Green 100, thank you for the follow. Let's give this a try. Throttle up, panlock, SAS, engage, 3, 2, 1, space. And as soon as that gets to 100, I need to throttle down. All right. I. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep it within one in either direction. Hey, that's good. It's so hard to keep it even. It. I'll let it get up to 105, then I'll back it off. That's a good question, Brock. That's actually a really good question that you just asked. That is a good question. When I'm not trying to modulate my throttle, I will answer it. <laughs> so then look, then you just go full thrust once you get up here. Look, yeah, that's full thrust. That's all we can do. Let's see what we get out of this one. <laughs> all right, let's see what we're doing on. Y'all are welcome to do the mech jab test. Y'all are welcome to do the mech jab test if you want. Use IVA controls. And <laughs> all right, we just ran out. Um, why is it that we're recording the peak apoptosis as opposed to the altitude the craft will actually release? Brock Sampson, um, we're recording, look at that, that's 113. We're recording the, we're recording the, uh, what is it? 
the peak apoaps after it stops changing. After it stops changing. <clears throat> My living Jeb kicked out Mech Jeb, so can't try it. <laughs> well, it's going to fall, but it's going to fall only very slowly. Once we get out of the atmosphere, it won't fall that much at all. So let's see here. Ideal is 113261, like that. 113261. So that's the theoretical ideal. That's the theoretical ideal. But the trick is, the trick is, whenever we were actually making the gravity turns, once we included the gravity turns, we couldn't make this happen. We couldn't make this happen. I think this only works whenever you go straight up. This only works whenever you go straight up. Because it's like 10,000. It's 10,000. But it only works whenever you go straight up. For some reason. Ah, because we're not actually... You're right. Um, Solaris, we tested it over and over again, and any time we do the gravity turn, we couldn't get more delta V out of this. So something about this is the ideal situation where we go straight up and we don't turn. Where we go straight up and we don't turn. So what we're doing here, we're getting more speed so that we coast higher because we're not actually turning. I can like we can try to do one with a gravity turn. I wonder how that's gonna work. We should totally try it. So when we're going straight up, it says 113. But when we test it with a gravity turn, I expect all of that to go away. I expect all of that to go away because when you're flying sideways, you don't get the same, you don't get the same sort of uh, benefits of having the extra thrust. That's why I put ideal on there. So let's see here. What else do we say? Brock Sampson. What? <laughs> Does that make sense to anybody? That was 114, 1132 or something. 113261. That's probably close enough. 1132. So we're definitely going high. I still hate that I can't see my stars. Planet Shine is so annoying. I wonder if we should try to do this with a gravity turn. The thing is, this won't actually get into orbit. Hmm. And floor it when you reach the pit pitch maneuver. Fully watched the Adventure Brothers. Nice. Um, I wonder. I wonder if there's anything we could do. We would actually have to build a craft that could get into orbit. I would expect that all the figures would change. All the figures would change. I bet you so. Whenever we do the turning, when we do the turning, we came up with completely different numbers. But I've actually never done it straight up like this before. Because last time we said, what if, why don't we just fly straight up? And we said, well, that's not a very good test because we're just going straight up. Spartan, thank you for hanging out. Um, I wonder, I wonder, this is breaking the no throttle thing from wasting rate. Um, I don't, this is, this is going straight up. So I will say, I don't know if we can get all into it. I think that if you go straight up, this is probably the best thing to do. But since you don't actually go straight up in orbit, last time we said that this wasn't a good test, right? We said this was not a good test because you don't go straight up into space. You've got to turn at 10K and start to do your gravity turn. A rocket with greater than 2 and 5K delta V, let Mech Jeb do everything. Moonchild, you are welcome to do that. You're welcome to do that, but Mech Jeb would not do a very good job of keeping it consistent, unfortunately. Do it and show me the results. Straight up is the fastest way out of the atmosphere. That's right. Straight up is the fastest way out of the atmosphere. That's why we're not getting... We're, this is a not a valid test for actually doing a rocket launch. So that makes sense. If anybody wants to test it for with Mech Jeb, definitely go for it. I would love to see that. If you want to stream it, I'll come hang out. I will come hang out. I will come hang out and check it out. I will totally do that. That would be a thing that I could do. I would love to see this test done over and over in MechJeb, but I'm not installing MechJeb, is the thing. Do we have electric charge? We do. Yeah, we're fine. So let's see here. I'm not going to say that I can fly better than MechJeb. I would love to see the test done with MechJeb. So I challenge everybody. <laughs> Hyper edit to LKO problem solved. I would challenge anybody who wants to use MechJeb and dirty the sully themselves to give it a test with MechJeb. Let's see. What else do we have? <clears throat> Somebody give it a try. Somebody give it a try. Ah, uh, let's see here. Da, 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 103, 500. I would love to see that done with Mech Jeb. I would love to see that done with Mech Jeb, and I won't do it. It's a real ship, but not indicative of what you see on an actual orbit run. Warhammer, that's correct. You already feel dirty just because I said it that many times. <laughs> Let me delete that message right quick. Um, I still don't. I just still don't believe with that, um, Igor, because we would not. 
We wouldn't be going straight up. Throttling down, using the same engine, throttling down for terminal velocity is the best case scenario. I still don't think that that's true, because when we tested it before, we could not get any differences when we actually did an actual pitch program. You're going to give it a try on a stock copy. Uh-oh! <laughs> this is not looking good for tie-dye, honestly. <laughs> this is not looking good for tie-dye. I would love to see the results of the test, though. I mean, theoretically, look at that solar flare. That's so distracting, honestly. It makes for probably really good screenshots, but it's so distracting. You're gonna die, dude. He's not hes not loving life right now. I'm gonna try to EVA him at the last second. And see if that works. <laughs> nope. That didn't help. That totally didn't help. Um, Teflon Mike, I would actually be interested in seeing the results because people always say that Megjeb could fly it straighter and that sort of stuff. I'd love to see the results. I'd love to see the results. I would love to see the results. No, Igor, I think that you lose, because remember, we've tested this. We've tested this when we did the actual launch profiles. And when we did the launch profiles, we could not get any difference between throttling and not. Because you're going to spend a lot more time in the atmosphere not going full throttle. I think that's what the difference is. I think you're spending a lot more time... I'll try it. How to have Meg Jeb and not use the autopilot. Nice. <laughs> Jeb would have lived through that. Not your sure. thrust limiter as soon as you break the atmospheric barrier. Throttle up full. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could totally do that. You could do that. Das, don't have you in the pilot seat anymore. Nice. <laughs> Let's see here. What other... I would challenge people, I'll totally give some extra credit if somebody streams that or makes a video of that or something. I would totally love to see that with the graph and stuff. Um, let me see, I had a bunch of other questions and now we've spent a lot of time on this one. Um, we've answered that one. I know, Eskimo's kid's dad, that's that's what I've heard a lot as well. You've used Megjeb and none of those flights are consistent. I've heard that Megjeb is not very good at doing that stuff, but I've never actually used it and I'm not going to install it. So. Eskimo Kid's dad. You're confirming what I've heard, but lots of people come into the channel and they argue that Mechjab da 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 da. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> With an orbit cable ship, his Mechjab doesn't fly straight up. His Mechjab doesn't fly straight up. <laughs> Why won't Mechjab fly straight up? It can't do the very simple thing that I just did. You've had Mechjab crash many craft. I hear that all the time. I do hear that all the time. Um, who else is still here? We've got Greystone asking about the trajectory mod. Um, we've got that trolley question that I'll delete. We've got a docking. Pokemon, Greystone, Veru plays, Vice Rosewater. Paranoid Carrot. Paranoid Carrot, are you still here? Are you still here? Paranoid Carrot. Vice Rosewater, the Pokemon 92, Greystone 13. Loading someone's shuttle, Professor M, that probably is. Let me answer another question here. Intro P, what should I eat? Food. Food. Go with food, stick with food. It's <laughs> probably what you need to eat. SSTO help. I've d ger der grossa, der grossa fish. Fitch. Der grossa fitch. I've done that before. Um, I've done entire streams on that, and I've done that the last couple days. All right, the first one to check in was Let's see here Das yes, our aerodynamics of factoring KSP barely Dom Dom barely all right Pokemon checked in first Pokemon. Can you go through docking with weird orientations? What do you mean by weird orientations? Pokemon, what do you mean by weird orientations? Docking in weird orientations. I am wondering what the deal with that is. Docking in weird... Oh, Greystone checked in as well. Okay. Greystone checked in as well. Docking in weird orientations. What do you mean? And then Paranoid Carrots. I can show Paranoid Carrots really quickly. So I will I will show Paranoid Carrots... Quick, let's spread the carrots really quickly. Um, look, if we did this... Uh, no, dude, Igor, test it. Igor, test it. I would love to see the actual results. I really would. I would love to see different results. Because we've spent an entire stream four hours doing that over and over and over again, and carrying the extra weight of the engines was never, was never a good plan. 
we did it over and over and over again, and I, you weren't there for that one. But I tried everything that chat and people were trying to convince me, and no matter what we did, we could not make it more efficient. Uh, recommended planet to travel to first? Duna, really. You usually go to Duna first. So, this thing here, I could leave it together. It's not orbit capable. It should be orbit capable, but it won't be orbit capable with a very high thrust to weight is the problem. Alright. This is Tierriar Test Craft. Like that. Save. So, Paranoid Carrot, you were asking about the, uh... You're gonna use the Kerbal X stock test craft and test it now? Okay, cool. Excellent. Let's see here, we were talking about <laughs> that won't work too many engines. It has a lot of staging. Megdrive tries to keep it at 102, 103 and floors it at the turn. Interesting. What does it do though? Like if you have different throttled engines, what does it do? What does it do? Dosh drink, I do need a drink. Aussie Bunny, wait, Aussie Bunny completed the homework? Nicely done, <laughs> you have two flags. Aussie Bunny, congratulations, and then I'm going to, gosh, what question was I even answering? I don't even know, now I've got too many questions coming in, I need to get this. Aussie Bunny, congratulations, Aussie Bunny with a date. Plaque on homework done, it doesn't say KSA, you're disqualified, sorry. Get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding. Good job on completing the homework. Add 25 to Aussie. Do, 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 do. There you go. Congratulations. There's your extra credit. <laughs> Welcome, by the way. I am answering, totally answering things here. I am answering things here with the bays. How can you fit stuff in? How do you pack them so that you can deploy them easily? Ah, das. Aussie bunny. Sorry, vigilant one. <laughs> Aussie bunny. Sorry. Jeez. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Um, the cargo bays. Let's talk about the cargo bays. Let's see here. That right there is a cargo bay. You were talking about how to pack stuff into it, I guess. Your question was about how to pack stuff into it. There's only a few things that can fit. There's only a few things get, that can fit. And we've actually tried a couple things, especially when we made the double canoe. We tried a couple of different things. So let's see that. Let's do this. Let's put that on it. That's just to put ends on it. And you were talking about how do you fit stuff in. Um, it's pretty simple. Just make it so it doesn't cl clip. So put yourself a docking port like that. And then have another docking port like this. And I'm actually going to build the craft up here on top. And then I'll bring it down. Let's do that. We know... Actually, I should probably build it down there so you can see what will fit. We know that these cargo bays will be able to hold any of these parts. That's not one. Any of these parts, like this. Move the notes. Why would I need to move the notes? They aren't blocking anything right now. They're just in, we're just in the VAB. What do you need? Are the notes in the way? I can, I can turn them off, since we're not using them. Um, we know that these parts will fit in the docking bay without clipping. The trick is, you have very little clearance. <laughs> American says Aussie and Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne? I don't think I've ever called it Melbourne. So, you've got very little clearance whenever you've got one of these tanks in here. Do you see how you can barely fit anything here? And you can barely fit anything on the opposite side? Like that? You see how that doesn't fit? But you've got pretty good clearance on the sides. You've got some clearance. So if you're designing something, you've got to keep that in mind. Dorsal batteries don't fit very well. Dorsal batteries don't actually fit very well, because look, if you put a dorsal battery on whatever this thing is, like this, and you close it, like this, the battery will actually clip through. Not great, honestly. Not great. So the dorsal battery doesn't fit. If you want to add things, you really have to add them to the sides, like this. Like that. If you've got landing gear, you can usually try to put the landing gear on in 4x symmetry, like this. 1x symmetry will not work. Or sorry, 2x symmetry, 3x symmetry will not work. Because those two will fit, but this gear will clip through. You've just got to be careful about where you put stuff, really. See how that gear clips through? You don't want that to be happening. It'll be okay, honestly, but you don't want it to be happening. I think if you put 4x symmetry... It's been a while since I've done this. Is that even? No. Let's see if 4x symmetry clips. I'm not sure if it's going to clip or not. Yeah, it looks like it's going to clip. 
Did you rotate the probe core of the probe so the dorsal side is rotated and put a battery that way? You could. So that clips through too. That actually doesn't fit the 4x symmetry. I think what you'd have to do is do 2x2 two two symmetry if you had something that needed landing legs. Like, put something like that. This is not a great lander, honestly. And like that. That may fit. Let's see. I'm testing my... I don't know. Ah, uh, yes. Could you rotate the probe core? Yeah, you could. You could put it in there with a different one. Australia. Straya. Australia. <laughs> nice. See, even that barely clips through. Even that barely clips through. So there's just, there's not a lot you can do. There's not a lot you can do. Um, oh no, those were the, those weren't the ladders. Those weren't the ladders. The problem with those were that, was that we were putting things like this. So we were hoping we could do a design like this on the lander. Grabbing this thing, the fuel tank, and putting it on with 2x symmetry. 2x symmetry. And you can't. You can't put that on like that, right? That's the smaller probe, the smaller parts with the larger part in the center. This actually won't work. This will not come out of this docking bay. This will clip like crazy and not... Nah, nah, nah. You get the point, though. It will clip like crazy and it will not come out of that docking bay. Even if you can close the docking bay, close the docking bay, this is too wide. See how that hits the sides? It's not going to work. So even if you don't see it clipping through, that design still won't work. We finally ended up fixing it by putting a skinnier part in the middle. One lander leg. <laughs> One lander leg. Yeah, this was not a good idea. This is why the landers were getting stocked. Stop. So the easy mode is basically to use the cheat allowing clipping. No paranoid carrot. That's a terrible idea. That is a terrible idea. Because if you clip something in... Ah, uh, let me see if I can show you. Let me see if I can show you why clipping is a terrible idea here. I'll just put this on here. Come on. I'll put this on. Clipping is an absolute... See, this is clipped. This is clipped through. If I enabled clipping, it would let me do this all day long. Do you see how that breaks? It breaks the plane there. That is clipping. Clipping is always a terrible idea, especially on things... Well, sorry. Clipping is a terrible idea when parts are going to separate. When parts are going to separate and want to go away from each other. Anything that's clipped causes huge problems when parts are going to separate. Clipping can be used sometimes for cosmetic purposes and that sort of stuff. Because um, I do small amounts of clipping on occasion. But that fits. Let me put the... Uh, RCS on there like this angle snap that's fine all right let's see how this works so let's close that down let's that should balance on the launch pad but I guess I'll clip it in clump it in let's do this there you go I corrected myself Igor I corrected myself I want to I want to be fair about that doesn't that's not gonna have a probe core on it I was trying to think if I need anything else. Electric charge, we should be good on. Probe core, we're going to need, though. There you go. Tends to, yeah, exactly. It tends to cause rapid unplanned disassembly. You're exactly right. Uh, let's do... Let's close these bays. So even though this fits in, it won't make it out. It totally won't make it out. And angle them out. <laughs> Yes, we probably could do it. One lander leg. I like the one lander leg idea. So look, I could come over here and hack gravity for you. Get rid of it. And we can open up the bay doors like that. Let me get to where I can see. So see, now we've got that ship in there. But if I decouple that node... Oh, that spark. That mod is actually very interesting. This thing will not come out. Do you see how it's stuck? It's stuck in there. You cannot get it to come out even if I turn on RCS and try to get it out. There's nothing that I can do to get this out. See? That design does not work. It's actually a little unfortunate that those parts weren't designed to fit that form factor. They could have been, like, minusculely wider, and it would have been a great design. I There's just nothing I can do. I can't get it out. Yeah, there's an engine missing on one side. I know. I know. The only solution for this is to uh, physical time warp. Are we landed on the ground? Yep, I can't do it in space because our relative trajectories aren't different. Is there... Can I get it? Let's see if I can get it out. If I'm going like that, and then I physical time warp. Nope! Nothing I can do. I can't get it out here. I could get it out in space. I could. Limcardi, I just got RC build aid. You don't know how you live without it. It's so useful. It's so useful. What is that mod? What is RCS build aid, Igor? 
Oh, what is the what is the the collusion sparks? I t I don't know. <laughs> I need to look it up. It was there on the astronomer's visualist the astronomer's visual page, and I loaded it up just to see what it's like. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I don't know. So that would have been great if those things were tweaked to be the right scale, right, for the stock parts. But that's okay. I'd rather have them in the game than not have them in the game. But we just can't do that. So what you can do... Let's go back to the vehicle assembly and we'll do something else. Why are you closing? That's weird. I've never actually seen that. Instead of designing something big like that, since that won't fit, you can either get rid of that and design it differently without those pieces. You've got a little bit of clearance, just not that much clearance. Or it's very, very, very easy to small to design small satellites. So you can totally do this. Oh, you don't want physical time warp. Mikey CM, you don't want physical time warp. Um, that is not what you want at all. That is not what you definitely don't want physical time warp. I was trying to go into I was trying to go into non-physical time warp, which allows disconnected ships to pass through each other since physics is disabled. That's what I was trying to do to get this out of there. You're tired. Your hair is clipping out of your hat. You're right. That's what happens. That is totally what happens. Docotron Jr. and the my, my, the mighty the mini probe. You're exactly right. You can do this all day long. You can make a little tiny docking port. You can use these smaller diameter things like this little guy. I don't know why I'd put that on there, but whatever. You can make an ion probe all day long. So if you have an a satellite that has uh, come on you can totally make an ion probe and put some ion engines and stuff just sticking to these things that'll work as well if you want to use that that'll totally work but it just comes down to picking the right parts that fit in there you can make satellites all day long that fit in this form factor and there you go batteries it would need some batteries blah 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 blah, blah. you get it there you go that would work all day long Thanks, monkey. <laughs> Does the 40 monoprop sphere tanks fit? Uh, Lim Cardia, I think they do. I think they do. I was trying to put the axial or the radially attached engines, but let's see. You can make a probe around this all day. You can put solar panels on the side. We don't need to do that. Let's see here. That, and then this. And then does the other. Let's see if the other monoprop tanks fit. I just missed. There you go. Wow, that would be really close. I'm I don't know if that would come out or not. You want to try it? Sure. Okay. Let's try it. What else? Let's put these back on there. See if we can get it out. We're going to need the probe core again. Good enough. Let's see if those actually get out. I've never actually tried that. That's a great question. We can we know we could clip them. Oh, whatever. That's good enough. Let's see if this works. The Gigantors will definitely fit in there. Like, you can put a set of Gigantors on there if you want the big solar panels. Is gravity still hacked? Yes, it is. I don't know the name of that. What time is it? 3 a.m. Alright, now we we'll switch to this guy. He's moving, so we've got. He didn't scrape either. Yes, those come right out. Those come right out. Nice. Those come right out. Excellent. Thank you, Gamuchi. <laughs> By the way, with roll and without circularization burn, to reach 75 kilometer apoaps, I guess, right? 75 kilometer without the circularization burn. Nice. I'm actually very interested in that. Let's see what we've got here. It went thunk. Did y'all hear it go thunk? Raynor, thanks for the follow. Oakstaff, I totally missed you in Green Hunter. Wow, I missed so many people. Did y'all hear it go thunk? Teflon Mike, thanks for hanging out, man. I know we've been kind of just playing around here. We were installing Astronomer's Visual Pack, and that didn't go very well, honestly. <laughs> Listen. actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. You want me to dock it back in? Okay.
Uh, yeah, I do still have the wife tucked over. The goo, the goo container and the monoprop. The long monoprop should fit too. Nice. Excellent. Wait. You did? That's awesome. Wait, what? Oh, that is awesome. The little chunk noise is awesome. Um, or you just have to turn it up. You may need headphones to hear it. I do have the game sound turned down a bit. It's collusion FX. There you go. Dear Grossfitch. Dear Grossfitch. Um. Jay, Jackio, thanks for the follow. You do need, uh. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm honestly getting a little tired. <laughs> uh oh. It's gonna be hard for me to dock it back in. <laughs> I should be able to get it done, though. Because I didn't put a full complement of RCS on there, unfortunately. Just get in there. Just just get in there. Listen. <laughs> Those sparks are awesome. Those sparks are so awesome. Yeah, how did I not run out of electricity? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know how I get how I didn't run out of electricity there. I guess I just did it fast enough. Those sparks were awesome. Sweet. And now the lunch clamps have re- uh... <laughs> Nice. Those sparks are really freaking cool. I may continue running that just because of those sparks. Yeah, so that fits. That fits. Those sparks are really cool. How much longer am I streaming? Not for not for much longer, honestly. I think they fixed the sparks. Oh, really? You uploaded your project. You updated your project. Dater, what project? <laughs> I'm getting a little tired, honestly. I need to load this up. What were the other questions? I totally answered that one. Eek. Vice Rosewater, I'll answer this one out loud for you. It's loaded in its Dropbox. Oh, 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 got you. I th thank you, I got you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got gotcha. you. Now I know what you're talking about, sorry. I'm getting a little tired, honestly. Because I was up for a long time before I started streaming. It's like waking up at like, you know, 4 a.m. and then going to work at 8 and then working all day and then, you know, you're a little tired. It's not even 6 a.m. I know, I've been trying, I've been trying to cut the stream off. I go from 8 until 4. Oh, uh, I go from 8 until 4, but I was up since like noon today. So let's see here. What else do I need to do? Um, Vice Rosewater, is there any reason to get into an orbit that's uh, flying over the North and South Pole? Yes, if you're over the North and South Pole, you can either use that for ScanSat because that way you will eventually cover the entire surface of the planet. As the planet spins, you go around it at a different axis. So it will spin under you and you'll eventually cover the entire planet surface. Yeah, Thater, I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, the other thing, you can get more science that way. If you have a Kerbal there, you can actually EVA over every biome if you are very, 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 very patient. I honestly don't do it. I don't think it's worth it. But, uh... You can fly a Kerbal in a polar orbit. It's really more for scanning satellites sort of stuff, mods. But if you fly a Kerbal in a polar orbit, you can eventually get over every single every single biome, and you can EVA a Kerbal and get science from every biome. Eight hours was just quite a stream. Uh, yeah, Adel, I'm really trying to I'm really trying to keep it this way. Linville, I don't redistribute the mods. That's not allowed most of the time. I don't redistribute them. <laughs> that was more cheaty than when cheat came, cheaty came to cheat down. Okay. Um. So I've once I've answered that one. How do the cargo bays work? I think we've answered that one. How do I get better orbital insertions? And hey, um, it was carrot, right? Yeah, carrot. You can totally, if you want to simulate whether or not something will make it in and out. That light is killing me. If you want to simulate whether or not something will make it in and out of the cargo bay, put it on the pad just like this, Alt F12 it, 
Alt F12 it just like that in hat gravity. Put a little RCS on it or whatever, whatever your deployment method is going to be, and you can test it right here on the pad so you don't have to go into orbit every time. I think that that's a perfectly legitimate use of that. Delay answering that until Thursday stream. You have to get to bed and exam Thursday afternoon, so there's no stream for you tomorrow. Pokemon, um, remind me on Thursday. Remind me on Thursday. I will. I've done entire. I've do entire streams on that, and I really need you to tell me, um, what type of weird situations you're looking at. I really don't understand that. Land it like a horse. What? But yeah, get with me. Answer. Ask some more detailed questions, and I will definitely do that for you. Um, then I've got the transfer window things is the thing. The transfer window planners. I'm honestly, guys, I'm honestly getting a little tired here. My eyes are getting a little bleary. Um, yeah, dude, Paranoid Carrot, I hope that answered your question. Thanks for hanging in there. There was the trajectory mod, and then there was the transfer data from the transfer window. So that was Greystone and, uh... Yeah, thank you, Pokemon. That would be great, man. That would be great. That would be absolutely great. Thank you so much, and get yourself some sleep. Uh, Veru plays in Greystone, the trajectory mod. I wonder how quickly I can do the trajectory mod. Let's see here. Let's see here. Revert flight. What are you seeing, Kamuchi? Totally tell me. Having more thrust to weight and throttling it down. What is that? What is the number? Is that the thrust to weight on the pad? What are those numbers? I'm actually very interesting. Um, I am interested in point .9. I'm interested in point .9. I'm definitely going to see what we can do with point .9. I don't know what's going to be in it. I don't know what's going in it. Acceleration to reach escape speed faster. Is that the thrust to weight on the pad, or is that the thrust to weight on the, uh... Ah, uh, the throttling. What is that thrust to weight? What is that? Where is that even from? Acceleration to reach escape speed faster. Interesting. Keep going, Kamuchi. Keep going. I'm very interested in the results. Let me go and see if I can't do the D cut the uh, trajectory mod right quick. That's the thrust weight on the pad. What about the lower ones? I'm interested in what the lower ones are. Aussie Apple. Aussie Apple. What's going on? <laughs> um. Transfer windows and nodes. Viru play. Transfer windows and nodes. I probably, I've got, I wonder if I could just restream that. <laughs> I should make a highlight of it and just restream that and I can go to sleep. <laughs> um, let me see here. Maybe I can do it for you real quick. Why did I come over here? That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I have a ship in orbit that can be deorbited. Oh, you're working down. Nice. All right, good deal. Look at the lines. That's actually not a very realistic uh, pattern of roads for continental-sized road systems. That actually doesn't make any sense at all. Huh. Oh, well, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? And Kamuchi, look how... Look, look at my background, Kamuchi. I'm like you. I'm totally like you. I have a nebula. A very weak nebula. Look at that. See that? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> You'll take a highlight. Viru plays. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. <clears throat> oh yes, I was going to this. The egg station. Yeah, I could I could act like I was gonna do orbit. I won't actually do orbit it. Let's do this. Let's continue on. This light needs to be less bright. I need to put a smaller light in this now that the camera's better. So, could we deorbit this guy? We could. Let's actually F5 for safety right here, and let's talk about the trans the deorbiting mod. I'm going to just go ahead and F5 again. I'm going to undock him. I'm going to go and fly him. I'm going to use RCS to puff off the station like that. I'm going to close that. I'm going to activate my main engines. I don't have anything to activate my main engines, apparently. Two? Nope, that's my spotlight. Let's do that. Let's do that as well. All right. I am. That didn't look realistic. It, it was a small area. It wasn't a continental size. Put a coffee filter over it. I'm just going to get... I have a smaller light. I just need to plug it in. That's what I'm going to do. So let's turn on SAS. Let's turn off RCS. And so the transfer... The actual uh, atmospheric trajectories mod has a couple cool features. I can add a node here. 
And when I deorbit the craft, it shows me a couple things, and I am going to do this pretty quickly. Um, it shows me my trajectory. When I'm in white, I'm not in atmosphere. When I'm white, when the trajectory is white, it's not in the atmosphere. When the trajectory turns red, that shows me where I'm going to enter in the atmospheric interface. That shows where I'm going to enter the atmosphere, basically. Enter the atmosphere. That's actually the wrong way to say that. Um, retract the solars. Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing the entire thing. I'm just doing this little one. Um, that is when I enter the atmosphere. And then it will begin to bend my trajectory based on the atmosphere. So you see right here, bending the trajectory, the game stock thinks that you're going to go like that. The atmospheric trajectory mod knows that that's not true. It knows that it's actually going to come down like that. And you can see, uh, 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 I can't zoom in anymore. Let me go to the craft, which will allow me to zoom in on that more. You can actually see the difference there. I wish I could get it from the top. But see how we're not going to follow the actual orbit? We are actually going to be dragged down by atmosphere, by the atmosphere. That is going to slow us down enough that we land like that. The last thing that it shows us is how much the planet will rotate in the time it takes us to get to the end of the red rainbow. So by the time we get down here and we hit right here, the planet will have rotated that much. So we will land at that place on the ground on the planet. That is what that's showing me. So that makes it really useful because what you can do you can actually come around here. We can get rid of that node. We could put a node like over here, right? Add a maneuver and say this is our deorbit. And we can aim right at the freaking KSC. Like that. And if you do that like that, you can see it over there. Can't you let me make sure it's not behind the keys or anything? Yeah. If you do it like that, see how, see how close it is? I would need to tweak this some. But that would allow me to ant to land the craft very, very, very near to the KSC. That entry, even though, look at how long that red line is. The stock game says you would be landing over there. But this is actually telling me the Earth, that the Kerbin will actually rotate that amount of time in the time that it takes me to plot that maneuver and actually execute it. It makes a lot of sense. It really is super cool, guys. It really is super cool. Sounds like a decent fire hazard, depending on the light bulb. <laughs> Adding a filter, nice. That actually makes a lot of sense. You guys want to kill me. Um, so what you can do, you can actually get the node. It's difficult from here. Uh, let me focus on the, the planet and get rid of engineer. You can actually get the... You can get the node so that you can see it at the same time you can see KSC. If you need to go down, remember that's pink triangle like I'm pulling right now. A little bit of retrograde or anti-prograde will move you back. And you can actually fine-tune exactly where you're going to land using that mod. That's going to land us just a little bit south. So I need a little bit more angry triangle or happy triangle. Like that. Zoom in. That's going to land me right near the KSC. That's going to land me basically in the research center it looks like that looks like it would land me in the research center so that's how that mod works um, the mod that is how the mod works <clears throat> what we do here is do, 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 do. is there anything else about the mod I don't think I missed anything I'm honestly getting tired <laughs> it's this light that's getting on my eyes um what else the Delta V is plummeting at 1.8 thrust to weight really the Delta V is plummeting. The shortcut for engineer is backslash. The short, the shortcut for engineer is backslash. The Delta V is plummeting at 1.8 thrust to weight. That's actually very interesting. How much does it plummet? How much does it plummet? Because when a human was flying the craft, we could not get that to be any different. That is actually very interesting. I guess that my human flight profile was so much more efficient than Mech Jeb's that I got a lot more Delta V out of my flight profile. <laughs> You have to hit the pad just by aiming at the node and follow that. Yeah, entropy, thank you. That's the next thing that I need to say. Um, the next thing that I needed to say was as you go through the reentry, you actually need to point at the prograde vector like that. Now, that is only really the case. JK Wood, thanks for the follow. And Bacon Commando, when did you come in? That is only really the case whenever you. Come on, girly. 
That is only really the case when you have any sort of lift generating surfaces on your craft. So fins or wings or something like that, even in stock arrow, if you don't point directly at that prograde marker, you'll actually coast or dip or dive or whatever as you go down. So if you're entering a space plane, you've got to try to stay pointed right at that green thing until you flare to come in for your landing, right? If you then, if you then have a craft that has no control surfaces on it, then you don't have to worry about that. In stock arrow, it won't really make a huge difference. It won't really make a huge difference. 110 delta V between 2.23 and 1.8. That is, that's actually really interesting, Kamuchi. That is really interesting. Excellent. So if you want the most efficient pro profile, maybe you want the bigger engines on there. I wonder, because we flew that so many times, we flew that so many times and we could not get any more delta V out of it. And it must be something to do with the way a human would fly it. That's actually very interesting. I am okay with that, honestly. I like learning things. I really do like learning things. 110 delta V between two. I wonder if that was just in our error bars. Our error bars for flying it by ourselves, right? We just never could see any sort of difference. And 110 delta V is not a lot of delta V. That is actually very interesting. Keep going though. Take it down to 1.7, 1.6 and see how, how much different it gets with 1.7, 1.6. I would be very interested in learning that as well. I wasn't actually going to do this pers this thing. I was going to put it back on the station. So let's do that. Veru plays. I'm getting tired. <laughs> A couple of minutes and you'll have it all. Nice. Dude, Kamuchi, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. I do really do appreciate it. <laughs> Let's keep going. All those planets flaring out like that. It really makes me sad that I can't see the stars all the time. Why can I not see the stars? Let me play with that right quick. It's not Planet Shine that's doing it. It's this. But I've got dynamic sky dimming off. That makes me so sad that I can't see the stars all the time. Toolbar plugin update available, that's interesting. I wonder if I just turn this down if it would make any difference. No, you can't see anything like that. Is that Orion? It looks like Orion. Back there. Bad touch, thank you. I'm just about done here. I'm just about done here. Um, Top Hat Dragon. I did not have anything in there. I did not have anything in there. I, everything was uninstalled. Um, it wasn't a completely fresh install, though, so maybe that's what I need to do. Just start with nothing installed and completely... Huh. This started happening... This started happening when I installed this Distant Object Enhancement. That started happening with Distant Object Enhancement. It gets on my nerves. And I don't know how to fix it. Maybe it requires a scene change? Like we've got to go from the space center and then back to here or something? Yeah, a limb cardio, that would be nice. Dimming them when they're in the sun. I, w I don't want it to be black because I think the game, while it may be more realistic, I think it's prettier when the stars are there. I'm not really going after the perfectly realistic game. I would like it to look pretty most of the time, you know? Let me go back to that craft and see if a scene change would fix it. Now I seem to have... Are there just no stars in this... Skybox? That doesn't make any sense to me if there's no stars in the skybox. That's another Dr. Pepper I didn't drink. That's not it. Yeah, look, that looks a lot better. It's a scene change that you need. It's a scene change that we needed. Wait, go away. Wrong mod. That looks so much better. That is definitely Orion back there, by the way. That is definitely Orion. Ah, yes. That looks so much prettier. Although I wish that it was in the ecliptic. I want something where the universe is in the ecliptic. I'll try pork or whatever that one was. I will totally try the one. But at night it looked really pretty. This looks great, honestly. This looks really amazing. Do I still have the... Yeah. Now Jewel and Duna don't stick out like sore thumbs. That is really cool now. 
Jewel, Duna, Minmuses out there. They don't stick out like sore thumbs. I like that. Optic Zion, thank you for the follow. We're, st we're spooling down the stream right now, guys. How did you get that skybox? Yeah, Phantom Dragon, it's a mod. Um, it was one of the two skyboxes that came with uh, Astronomer's Visual Pack. And i got to figure out how to get my clouds working. If I have to completely install, then I'm going to have to let it completely... Uh, Jeez, I'm going to have to let it completely crunch the numbers again, compress the things again. Fly the shuttle. I will end with flying the shuttle. I will end with flying the shuttle. Top hat, that's a great idea. I will totally end. Let's pump this back up a little bit. So you can see what's going on. That's how I normally stream, so y'all can see what's going on with the craft. So let's go ahead and go back to the Space Center, and let's load up Top Hat Dragon. Dude, thank you for reminding me. Like I said, I am getting a little tired here. Usually I don't fade that quickly, but I am getting a little tired, which is okay. Let me do this. Let me download Top Hat Dragon Shuttle here. Show it in the folder. I'm going to have to bring this up. I'm going to have to bring this saves. I'm going to have to do this. Bal Bubba Dale, or Bal Bubba Dale. Thanks for the follow, Bal. I appreciate you. I do appreciate you. It was this boot camp that's not wrecked, right? This one, maybe. I don't even know which one I'm in anymore. The VAB. Did I download it? Yes. Oh, it's just called shuttle.craft. I think going forward, I'm going to have people put their names in the in the uh, thing or something. Nubius, take it easy, man. Take it easy. Let's see if this was the right save. Shuttle. Excellent. 276 parts in six stages. This is Top Hat Dragon's shuttle, dude. Top Hat Dragon, your shuttle looks amazing. Is there any... Why is it over there? <laughs> is there a reason that it's over there, Top Hat Dragon? Turn with the shuttle down, and when you drop the liquid fuel boosters, you activate the RCS to stabilize and drop them straight down. Jesus saves, I'm doing good. Not wrecked. <laughs> Yes, it's not rigged. Nubius. Tos. You have left with a roll. Sure, Kamuchi. Um, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have left with a roll. Because you built it in the space plane hangar. Oh, you built it in the space plane hangar and then you put it over there. Alright, Kamuchi. For control burst, can you fly this craft? Sure, I can totally do that. Let me launch the shuttle here, and then I will totally come back and fly that thing. It's got no parachutes or anything, it's just one, two, three of the double-sized tanks. Are those the control surface fins, and then a mainsail? If that's what it is. Jesus saves, I don't know, talk to Twitch. So if I launch it, it'll still be in the middle, right? Clear the launch pad and receive. Let's see what we've got here. It's just a 2.5 standard with a mainsail. Three winglets. Okay, good deal. Three winglets. It's just two point standard 2.5 standard with a mainsail. I have no Dr. Pepper left. Alright. You're going to make me roll in a weird direction. Let me read this again. Turn with the shuttle down, and when you drop the liquid fuel boosters, you need to activate the RCS to stabilize and drop them straight down. Okay, so I'll throttle up, I'll panel lock, I'll SAS engage, I said I'll panel lock, thank you. That solar flare, jeez, that really needs to be toned down about 100%. Let's see how this works. Oh wow, that shuttle is fatty underneath. Look at that. That's actually really cool. I have no clue if I'm going to be able to fly this thing. Let's see what we've got here. It's aligned correctly in the space plane hangar. I gotcha. Do you launch it from the uh, thingy? <laughs> I want them to contact me. Yes, Anks. I just drink a lot of Dr. Pepper. Let's see how this works. I'm just going to launch it off the edge of the pad here. I just drink a lot of Dr. Pepper. I'm going to throttle up panel like this. It's 3, 2, 1, space. There's six large cargo bays on it. Nice. All right. And you told me to activate RCS. Wow, that thing is off like a shot. Two thrust to weight. Interesting. 
What do you think about the solar flare? Yeah, solar flare brought to you by JJ Abrams. It's actually very realistic because here with my light, I can barely see what's going on. I'm gonna rotate. It's so balanced, dude. Top hat dragon. This is so freaking awesome. So now I've rotated this way, like that. It evens out. He needs to build a Twinkie ship. I don't even know what that means, Jesus saves. What does that mean? <laughs> so when I drop the liquid fuel boosters, so I can drop these without, right? I can drop these without. They have SAS units on them, seriously? It's bright. <laughs> it's like so realistic. All right, I can drop the solid fuel boosters without doing anything else. A ship shaped like a Twinkie. <laughs> what is that even supposed to mean? All right. Okay, so we got rid of those. I don't need the RCS yet. Oh, I'm at 14, I need to be doing my turn. And you want to turn with the shuttle on bottom? That's what you wanted me to do, was to turn with the shuttle on bottom? Oh, it's... Ah, I see. So you wanted me to turn that before. I gotcha. Look at all that thrust coming off that shuttle. All right, so I didn't turn. I didn't turn. I mean, I like Twinkies. Have you not seen yourself with Twinkies? Jesus saves. <laughs> not off the top of my head, dude. I'm, I apologize. I'm honestly a little tired right now. That engine cluster is so cool looking. I can't see it because of all the engine flames. But the engine cluster is so freaking cool, Top Hat. So what's next? What is the activity of the angle engines when you drop the tank? Thank you, Top Hat. That is just-in-time information. Look at this thing, dude. This flies like a... <laughs> and it goes... <laughs> ah, it goes on like this for a while. Nice. <laughs> so I've already turned and burned. Dude, this shuttle is amazing. Such a good job, Top Hat. 61. It looks like it's going to toss itself away from me. How are we doing on this tank? Oh, is this tank empty? No, okay, it's not empty yet. This craft is amazing, Top Hat. It's a, it's a shame that you can't really see it. <laughs> Look at it though, it's so freaking huge. Five is for the top bay and six is for the bottom two. Is there anything in them? Is there anything in them as uh, deployed? Yeah, dude, Greystone, here, man. You know, top hat's probably gonna do it faster. I'm actually flying the thing. Whoa, 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 what just happened? I like went out of control all of a sudden. That's okay. It was like the SAS turned off. Yeah, Rhodes, dude. It's so cool. Two FTL 800 tanks. Nice, Top Hat. Alright, just like it, Kabuchi. Oh, there was 81. Okay. This thing will be so easy to circularize. Should I circularize with the main tank? Eighty-five by eighty-one. Eighty-one by eighty-one. All right, continuing on. It's going to be a fourteen-second burn, and it's coming up in a minute and twenty-three seconds. And then I'll drop the tank so that it re-enters. I will drop the tank when it re-enters. Damien, yes, I am still awake. All right, how's that? What is this? 14 seconds. Yeah, let's time warp. 7 seconds is when I'm going to burn. I definitely want to half it. Rhodes, dude, use all the fuel in the tank. It'll run out before you orbit. Oh, really? Excellent. It's not telling me that. Oh, it'll run out right with 7 meters per second shy of orbiting. I just missed that, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Um, That's what you need the RCS for, huh? It was not having any of that.
It did not run out before I got it to orbit. <laughs> ah, yes. It did not run out before I got it to orbit. Shucks. That's okay, though. Whatever. Um, 50. I'm going to deorbit it in this direction, like this. I'm going to drop the tank like this and hope that the seps deorbit it. So that right there is straight radial up. And then I am going to ditch that, and I am going to F5 for safety, and I am going to stage. That should deorbit it, I think. That amount of delta V should totally deorbit it. Um, sorry, I was in orbit, Roadstar. I was saying that it did not. Uh... Action Group One is not doing anything. Did you tell me it was Action Group One? Huh, the action group didn't come over. Two doesn't seem to work. Does five and six seem to work? Okay, those seem to work. But... I... Action group one's not working for me. Well, I can just disable them. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It's still off-centered. What am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, war Warp Hammer, it won't actually. It won't actually do that. Disable the four middle engines? Oh, I, there were two. Okay, there's four angled engines. I didn't see that those were angled. Alright. So there's four angled engines. And four non-angled engines. Okay. Yeah, we're in orbit. Uh, that's just the action group. Action group one's not doing anything. Yeah, I do believe they are full tanks not being used, right? Let's have a look. I love that you have the lights. Yeah, they're turned off. Dude, top hat. Such a freaking epic shuttle, dude. It looks amazing. Look at that. They're all full tanks. What is that? 36 times 6? I don't know what that is. He used Action Group 1 to disable them. That's what I was trying, Action Group 1, and it wasn't working for me. Two shouldn't work. Oh, Warp Hammer, it wouldn't decay um, unless you load the craft into physics range. Uh, if you don't load that tank into physics range, it would continue orbiting through the atmosphere forever. Those are solar panels in three, apparently. That's cool. Four doesn't seem to do anything. I don't see any changes with four. Five is the top tank. Six are the bottom tanks. I love that the lights go off. Seven is the docking port. Nice. It's actually in the same place as the actual shuttle's docking port. The crew, the module adapter, whatever that thing's called. Eight doesn't seem to do anything. Nine doesn't seem to do anything. Watch. Zero is abort and explode the craft. Alright, good deal. So we should be good. Look at that, though. Look at that. I almost want to turn ambient light adjustment all the way down and see what it looks like. It's actually really pretty. We don't need the keys. Alright. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I want to get some planet shine on it, honestly. What was that? Oh, wrong window. Jam session, take it easy. Oh, the crew and cockpit lights are bound to you. Look at that. That's so freaking cool, Top Hat. Not getting any planet shine, interestingly. So planet shine's busted too? Gosh, planet shine is totally busted. Oh my gosh.
Planet Shine is toast. That's so annoying. Planet Shine was working so beautifully. Let me see if it's turned off or something. Performance. Intensity. Da -da 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 -da. No, this is fine. It's on. Bah! It glides like a champ. Nice. I think the last thing that I need to do here, turn it off and turn it on again. How? You can't turn it on and off again. Now try to land on the runway. I'm honestly, I'm honestly getting a little tired and I need to do that thing. The rear canards? They fight each other. What two? Um, Adel, what two? They're not compatible currently? What is not compatible? Advanced. I don't see where you're saying to go to advanced mode. Oh, advanced. Oh, I gotcha. Those are tabs. Huh. Ah, oh, well. Planet Shine and Ambient Light Adjustment. Adel, I've used, um... I have totally used those for the longest time without any issues. Yeah. Windows is telling me it needs to restart. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Yeah, you're right. There's a button. That didn't help me, though. Um, I've used those for the longest time without having any conflict between them. In fact, yesterday I was I was showing that I could turn it on and off, and I was, like, turning it up and down and that sort of stuff. You have the planet shine intensity really low? Oh! Okay. How did that get turned down? I didn't change that. That is weird. Thank you, though. There you go. All right, I, that must be something that got installed with Astronomer's Visual Pack. Honestly, thank you for that. There's the planet shine. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, I've never had any conflicts between those two. Um, Adel, I think that. I mean, what just happened to me? Why are there no stars? That is so getting on my nerves. There, there are no stars when I have the sun in the picture. I don't want that to be the case. I really don't like that. I'm not going to like it. KSP Kamuchi, it's science. It's science. I'm going to continue teaching the same thing that I teach because it's easy for new people to do, right? That's the entire point. But I am not going to be mad, right? I'm not going to be mad. Veru plays. I need to get that thing highlighted for you, man. It'll probably be tomorrow. What is this? Inner voices. Inner voices. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I do appreciate the support. That's like every night or something you toss that over. It's time for me to get off, honestly. Night Dust, love your stream. Dude, take it easy. Installed, yes. Yeah, and I have it turned off, Adel. I have it turned off again. Again. Inner Voices, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Kamuchi, don't tell me your results. Don't tell me. I will totally... Whoa, no, don't... I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. I'm going to fly it. I'm going to fly it. Um, I'm gonna fly it first before I actually look at the Delta V. I'm gonna fly it first before I look at the Delta V. I have the craft up. I'll fly it and I'll see what the launch profile that I normally teach is, right? I'll see what that is and we'll just go from there. We will just go from there. Thank you again, Inner Voices. Um, I know you're not supposed to see the stars, but I want to see the stars. Sorry. <laughs> um, and I've actually got it turned off right now. Look. Dynamic skylighting is supposed to be set to zero. And it's still doing it. A triple mainsail for higher thrust to weight in Delta V. A triple mainsail for higher thrust to weight in Delta V. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to go fly that craft right quick. I'm going to leave this like this. I'll just leave this in orbit. Mayor of space and tie-dye can live here. I will not click on it yet. I will not click on it. I will go back and I'll fly it before I see the results. I'm not clicking on any of those. Planet Shine also has star dimming. Where? Planet Shine Fade, Ground Ambient Fade, Performance. Where do I find Planet Shine Star dimming, dimming? I don't know which one of these is. Ambient Light Override? No, that says Ground, Ground, Maximum Range. Minimum, Fade Altitude, 0 0.1, 0 0.02 to 0 0.1, 12 to 60, no. 
ambient light level. This one. Vacuum ambient light level. That's the same as the, uh, apparently that's the same as the, uh, I don't know what it was set to now. That's what it was set to. Oh, so you could just use that instead of using uh, ambient light adjustment, apparently. Interesting. But that's not the star dimming. That doesn't seem to be doing it. That doesn't seem to be doing it. <laughs> Approximately zero kilometers from Kerbin. That doesn't seem to be doing it. You got better Delta V by not asparagus staging? <laughs> ah, yes. Who knows what's going on? <clears throat> um, we've got all this stuff. I don't... The light intensity, fade altitude. That doesn't seem to be doing the star dimming. That's just the uh, stuff on the other one. Love Mouse. Keep it classy in my channel, please. Keep it classy in my channel. Just ask me. You don't have to say that, but just ask me. Try turning off flares. Dawson, I am trying turning off flares. No, the flares, those are just for the planets. That's like if you're looking at a planet, where's it at? There. If you're looking at like Moho or Dress or whatever, this is supposed to just be a... Uh... And it needs a scene change. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, guys. I'm just going to leave it for now. Stock KSP did star dimming? Really? I had no star dimming for the longest time. I know it's for the sun. I know it's for the sun. I just, eh, that's okay. Let's not worry about that anymore. I just think that it's kind of ugly looking like that. I want there to be stars. At least I can see it's just when the sun gets in the camera too much. That's somebody's realism mod making getting on my nerve. Really? Love mouse. Sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm boring. Welcome to the stream. But we were trying to figure out some things with some mods, so I'm sorry that it wasn't uh, entertaining enough for you. That's okay. There are lots of streams. There are totally lots of streams. Uh, most launch vehicles I build now to mimic the real world Titan series. Let me go back to the... Uh, let me go back. I'm not going to revert it. I'll leave it in orbit. And I am going to fly the craft that Kamuchi put together. So there's a mainsail... There is. All right. There is a mainsail. Where is this at? What am I looking for? Yeah, it's starting on principle because it's realistic. But in the end, I want stars and stuff. Yeah, Adel, I just. I think that it's sad looking whenever it's black out there. You know, it's just like, yeah, this doesn't make me very excited about space. Um, let's see what else we've got here. I'm going to fly this. I'm going to fly the same thing that we teach in the academy. But again, I always say that it's not the most efficient way. It's just an easy thing for people who are new to the game to remember. Right? So I'm not expecting this to be more efficient than anything. Because we always say that it's not the most efficient. It's just a way to learn. One, two, three tanks. Like that. And then that is a one of these tanks. It's the heatsink tank, I guess. Like that. I bet 200 credits that Autodos wins. I'm really not... Moonchild, post up a screenshot. I'll definitely do it for you. I am not expecting to be able to fly this more efficiently. I'm not expecting to, buy, to fly this more efficiently. I will ask Kamuchi if you did each test five times to see if Medjeb got the same numbers each time. Did you do that? <laughs> but, I am not expecting... Remember, I always do... Is that the right rocket? One, two, three. One, two, three. Plus that, plus that, plus that at the top. Did you leave the pod torque? Or sorry, did you leave the pod SAS? Is that just the stock pod? And then it's three of these things, I believe. The winglets? That doesn't... Yeah, that looks like the winglet. And it's just down there. It doesn't really matter where that goes. Three axymmetry. All right. What did the cur items added to the science tab do? Wait, what? I don't know what that means. They're just the winglets and you left the pod there. Okay, thank you, Kamuchi. And Moonchild, post up a picture. 4447 Delta V with 2.23 on the pad. Okay. 4.47 with 2.23 on the pad. There's already a problem with this test because this engine's too big. 
There's already a problem. So the the results aren't valid already, Kamuchi, because the problem is that if you throttle limit, if you thrust limit this down, you're carrying extra engine the entire way. This is extra engine that you don't need. That's the entire point of what I'm saying. Let's fly it anyways. Let me see how I can fly it. Um, but I say 1.7 on the pad and fly it is what I normally do. But this is an invalid test already because that is extra engine that we don't need in this craft design. And the entire way you're carrying it up to orbit, so my design wouldn't actually carry that. Credits to spare, Adel. 4,000. And the really weird thing is... <laughs> Adel has more than me somehow. I don't even know how Adel has more than me. Somebody was passing out credits, I guess. Alright, let's keep going. Um, that's 1.7 on the pad. So I'm just going to fly it. The smaller one will be too small. The smaller one won't have enough. So I'll try to des I'll try to design something and I'll try to fl fly that. But it's extra weight that we... <laughs> Game crashed. Game crashed. The game totally crashed. That's so sad that the game crashed. Oh, man. Shucks. Dang it. Oh. That light needs to be many watts lower now that I've got it set this way. It's killing my eyes, honestly. Good time to remove the mods you don't like. Ah, Roadstar, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. You just want to hit 80 hours. That light definitely needs to be, because I'm looking at the camera, it needs to be like lights on the side, not right where I look. I need two lights, not one light, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What can you do there? So that thing, uh, that thing loads pretty quickly now, huh? It loads pretty quickly. 408. Oh! I need that steam alarm that goes off. No, just time for more aggressive texture management. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sure, respawn too. You're welcome to, man, if you have a picture of a moon station or something. How is that minimalist? <laughs> what is the part count on that thing? Oh, it's just a single, and then it's got an insertion stage. That is honestly really cool. That is honestly really cool. <laughs> huh. Huh. Sorry, Moonchild. That is honestly really cool. <laughs> you have a jet engine. What is the cost of that? Because you can design a moon mission for less than that. Are you doing minimalist from just like a size a, a sta size standpoint? That's so ugly. That Kerbin is so ugly. And I want something where the ecliptic has a, a galaxy in it or something. That's what I want. It's minimalist related to weight. Okay, I gotcha. Minimalist related to weight. <laughs> I gotcha. Which one of these did I hose? Not that one? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Minimalist raise related to weight. Oh, I, I still haven't clicked on any of those links, Kamuchi, so I'm going to fly this. But I'm going to see if I can't get it the right thrust to weight. I wish I got credits for watching replays. <laughs> uh, I wonder, coded threat, sometimes I wonder whether or not I should uh, do replays when I'm not online and people could watch them. Like, play not live stuff totally lame please be here so I don't have to build you again I'm getting tired okay all right 447 1.7 but this is invalid because this engine is wrong so let me fly it I'll fly it let me fly it and let's let me see how close I can get just using the stock profile and then using the most efficient profile or whatever I guess I'll fly it I'll totally fly it I am not scared I like science and if you're a scientist who gets your chones in a wad whenever you're not right you're not a very good scientist. So let's... Wow. <laughs> Look at this place. That is actually... 
Really weird looking. Ambient light adjustment for the win. <laughs> Let's turn this up some so we can see what's going on. All right, I will totally fly this. I will. Do wait, no. There you go. Yep. Close it. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Twenty meters per second of delta V after setting your P for landing. Whoa. <laughs> the synth stage had hundred meters per second left after a touchdown. Sixty meters. Wow. That is very, very, very tight. You stream too much to keep up with. Coded threat. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, let's do this. Let's throttle up. Let's pan lock. Let's SAS engage. We're 1.7 on the pad, right? Yeah, 1.7 on the pad. Let me fly it the way I tell cadets to fly it and see how much Delta V that's wasting. 3, 2, 1. Space. Igor, Gavin, Mysterious Mage are going to space today. <laughs> what are these for, by the way, Kamuchi? <laughs> I stream too much to keep up with. Inner voices, thank you again. You just took off, it looks like. But between Doss and Shimmy, you're behind with like 14 hours if I miss a day. They're just there for fashion? You made me build a craft that has fins on it? I'm too tired to be angry, honestly. So I say go straight up at 1.7 on the pad, right? Which will keep you from ever breaking atmospheric efficiency. That's good. No, exactly right. Ride car, dude. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. That is when you can learn stuff. If you get your chonies in a wad and you da 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 da, that's one thing, but you can learn stuff. You can totally learn stuff. That is absolutely right. Look at that purple sky. What's going on with that purple sky over there? That's weird. So I say go straight up like this. And then I say when you get to 10,000, lean over to 45 degrees like this and I don't even say to do it particularly smoothly right which means you're gonna lose some to steering but I just say do that because we just want people to get into space right so I'm just gonna say lean over to a 45 degree angle and burn like this until a 50k apple apps and then Aussie Apple Aussie Apple thanks for hanging out I'll try to say it right I'll try to say it right so just burn like this we haven't had to worry about the throttle we just fly we are not worrying about the throttle at all. And then I fly like this until 50. That purple light is the solar glow. I don't even know what that means, Kamuchi. 50, and then I go to orbital mode, and I turn and burn at the edge of this. Basically, roughly. It fashions up the galaxy. <laughs> what do we go to, 75? Was it 75, Kamuchi? How are we doing this test? I don't know what I was supposed to just do, because I got a 75 Apo apps, but then the atmosphere is going to lower it, and I had like 1750 left. How am I supposed to do that, Kamuchi? I don't know. I don't know what I was supposed to do. Was I just supposed to, as soon as it hit 75, kill it? Because I've got 1710 left, and I just corrected it because I knew that I was going to go underneath. What was I supposed to do there? I'll totally do it again. What was Mechjeb doing? I'm waiting. Yes, yes what? Yes what? I'm yes what? I'm I can't wait for the stream to lit. <laughs> Cuz I just said like 10 different things and you said yes. <laughs> Lift off and roll to 75 kilometers. So as soon as the Apo reaches 75, kill it. I think Roadstar is probably right. Roadstar is probably right. We have to do all the tests again. Because if I get to 75 and then I kill it, I've got 1710 left. I beat the standard Megjeb Ascent profile already. <laughs> really? <laughs> what is the standard? I even, I had like 1750 left. What is the standard Megjeb Ascent profile? What is it? Post up the screenshot of the standard Mechjeb Ascent profile. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously? I thought I would be less efficient. <laughs> what? I beat the tar out of it. 
by a hundred meters per second of delta V. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Triple mainsail lol. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so those are the... <laughs> Let's bring this up on the screen since we can. This is what Megjeb got. <laughs> that is what Megjeb got. A max of 1776. And on my first inefficient just turn 90 degrees and go, I beat the best Megjeb thing except for the triple mainsail. I basically tied the triple, or it was 25, 26 meters per second of delta V under the triple mainsail, and I beat everything else. What? The higher thrust weight ships save fuel with getting to space faster. But the problem is, the problem is, Kamuchi, let me see, let me try this. Let me try something right here. Let me try something right here. Um, so <laughs> I beat the standard Mechjib Ascent profile. <laughs> And I'm freaking tired, too, after streaming for eight hours. <laughs> That's how easy the Ascent Profile that I teach is. The easy, I just, it's easy. That was the 1.7. So let me throttle it? I'm going to throttle it. Revert to launch. I'll do the throttling thing. I'll do, a, I'll do the throttling thing. Let's do this. The triple mainsail. <laughs> The placement of the fins can change that? Probably not. Entropy, probably not. Look, I'll do the throttling it. I'll go full throttle and see if I can go full throttle and get better than the... F well, the test won't be valid because because I borked it. As soon as I hit 75, I'll do that. Let's see what we do. 3, 2, 1. Space. And that is full throttle. I'm going to go full throttle until it gets to 100% atmospheric efficiency. Then I'm going to try to maintain atmospheric efficiency. Da is Das still around? Igor, yeah, I'm gone, dude. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> the engine was throttled. Sorry. That was my bad. The engine was throttled that time. Alright. So throttle up. Ben luck. As I was like, why is this not ex going very quickly? Alright, that looks better. Cheos es Cheos Cheotix. Wait, sorry, I'm busy. Just one second, Cheos. I'll read that in a second. I'll read that in a second. I gotta throttle down. I'm gonna let it go down to five, or up to five, and then I'm gonna throttle it down. Bling. Bling. Oi, too much throttle loss there. I would not ever tell a cadet to do this, by the way. Somebody new to the game, I would not tell them to fly this profile like this. It's so annoying. I just would not tell them. Gav, dude, what's up? But that was with Megjeb auto throttling? <laughs> what? That was with Megjeb auto throttling. Alright, so we're slowly rising. I would like to not be worrying about this when I get to 10. Okay, so now do the pitch maneuver like this. So it's still not time to go full throttle. Gav, I'm racing Megjib. Alright, so there you go. And we're just going to go like this and we're going to turn and burn. So when I get an apple of 50, I'm going to go to orbit mode, which I can do right now, and I'm just going to turn and burn at 50. I honestly think that's the, uh... <laughs> and an intuitive explanation of this. I... Igor! Now I've got to do that annoying launch again. Did anybody see what it was? <laughs> Dang it! I wasn't watching! I wasn't watching. This isn't valid. It has to go into orbit, by the way. It has to go into orbit, because I could just be doing a, uh... I could... I would rather just be doing... It's not going to be a valid test, because, uh, if we don't see how much delta-v we have left whenever we get into 75k orbit, 
then I could just, I mean, I could go straight up. I could go straight up, right? I could totally. It was low 9900. But look, if I went straight up, I would get an Apoapsis 75 and have tons of Delta V left because I'm not putting any energy into the orbit. You would need to look at the, uh, you would need to look at the, uh, the orbital velocity, the angle, and when you hit 75 Apoaps, because I could hit 70 ap 75 Apoaps with a lot of different orbital velocities, right? I could hit 75 Apoaps with a lot of different orbital, orbital velocities. Das is going to beat the machine, then pass out from exhaustion. I can't show away the truth. Igor, what are you talking about? We've been, we've been working on this for a while now. Um, right now, I'm beating MechJab, I guess. MechJab's default profile. Let me try this again. Gosh, this gets on my nerves. 3, 2, 1, space. Alright. Because you just you just ruined my test. I'm not reading chat. I'm not reading chat. Agreed, and I part judge the quality of the pitch program by the circulation does the V I get. That makes, Adel, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. That actually makes a lot of sense. But to do it right, we'd have to do it multiple times, because I don't think MechJab flies it the same every time. I am already over 114. I'm... <laughs> Camera's over there. Oh my goodness. Alright, dad blame it. I need to fly this craft. Do you see how you have... I can, the other one, I can get up and go get a Coke. A Dr. Pepper. A whatever. I don't even care what I get. At that point. Not a Pepsi. I wouldn't get a Pepsi. Go! <laughs> so annoying. I usually get up and I go get another drink whenever I'm launching the rocket. And here, I talk, I read chat for three seconds and the entire test is ruined. 98, 99. 98, 99. 99. Follow it down. Oh, too much. Keep it going. Y'all don't talk. Don't say DOS. Don't do anything. I ain't looking at you. I'm not talking to you right now. I'm flying a rocket. I'm doing a thing. I'm trying to de trying to do some science here. Chill out. I'm not reading any of this nonsense. All these screen pops and red text that's coming up and stuff. I'm not looking. I'm not gonna look. I've got important sciencey things to do here. So chill out. <laughs> I don't too much. Okay. All right. Six. All right. Seven. Hey, I'm just gonna read the numbers to you. Look, 100% at seven five. All right. Ah, uh, it's rising very slowly. I think it's going to be start time to add throttle here. All right, now it's dropping. Now it's dropping. Now it's time to begin the pitch program, right? Like this. Y'all don't talk to me. Oh my gosh, y'all don't talk to me. Just don't even, just don't even load it up. Stream? No, don't say anything anymore. Just shh, shh. Quiet. All right, I think we can just go full throttle now. All right, now I don't have to deal with that throttle nonsense anymore. Now I just have to watch for this. Minimize that window at least. 35, 36, 37, 38. We'd have to circularize. We would really have to circularize. I'm not reading chat. I'm not reading chat. I'm flying a rocket. Very important sciencey things. Yeah, this isn't a valid test, guys. This just means that mine is steeper. I mean, yeah, 1800. You saw my Twitch eyes over. <laughs> Look at me, love me. I mean, this is not a valid test. We have to go into orbit. We have to go into orbit. It's not valid. It's not valid. It's not valid. We have to go all the way into orbit. We have to go all the way into orbit. So what did I get? I got seven. What did I get? Sixteen, ten, or something? What was the other one? I beat it by a hundred or something, didn't I? No questions for Das. We don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna ban Adel <laughs> for five minutes so he can shut up. This isn't a valid test. We have to go into orbit and see how much delta V we have left when we go into orbit. I'm totally down to do this. I'm totally down to do this. I'm totally down to do this. And I will fly, let's say, each one three times. I will fly each one three times. Flesh DOS greater than MechJub. I mean, that's 1809, but it's, it's not a valid result, guys. It's not a valid result because the orbital velocity is very, very, very important here. The orbital velocity is very important. And this just means that my ascent is steeper. It just means that my ascent is steeper. Is all that this means. It doesn't mean that I'm more... I'm more... Uh, sorry. I'm more... Whatever. It doesn't mean any of those things. 
It doesn't mean any of those things. Gav doesn't ask a question. I must squad made a tip jar or something. Ball Bubba Dale. You want to pay them for it? You can pay me for it. <laughs> that sly glance. I was like... <laughs> Saying, dude, saying, man, thank you so much for hanging out my stream for so long. Thank you so much. And you see me looking at the camera like, that means you're like watching. You don't just like have it in another window or something, man. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Folks, again, if y'all haven't given Saiyan a follow, y'all totally should give Saiyan a follow. You want me to circularize and see what the difference is? Alright, can I just do it with my default profile? Can I do it with my default, default profile? All right, revert flight, back to launch. I'm reading, I'm reading yours thing. Hey, you're, uh, Sorry, Igor, your test is not valid. Um, because... Well, tell me about your test, right? You can't throttle it. You can't throttle it. Thank you, by the way. You can't throttle it. You can't throttle it. You can't throttle it, is the problem. You totally can't throttle it. You can't throttle it, is the thing. You've gotta build the engine. Did you build it so that the engine cluster was the right amount? I think it may be a moot point because of the engines we have available. But if you throttled the engine down and you flew at a constant throttle, that breaks the entire test. That breaks the entire test. Like, what we're doing right now breaks the entire test. It's saying, dude, you're awesome. We're not too kind, man. We're not too kind. You totally deserve it. I'm going to fly this profile. Okay, that's the 1.7 profile. Throttle up, panel lock. I, we just don't have the engines in the game. Roadstar, that makes sense too. Yeah, that makes sense too. I'm just gonna fly the cadet profile and see what I have when I circularize. But the the test, the test, because my my complaint is that if you have extra thrust to weight on the bottom, so that you can get there, is, and we may be talking about something very differently here, right? We may be talking about something very differently. Are we? I'm getting too tired to even think if we're doing something. See how I don't even have to pay attention to this launch? I wonder, do I have to pay attention to this launch? No, I don't. I didn't even like look at the screen. It'd be hilarious if I can't get into orbit. So how many times do we have to launch a rocket design for MechJib to learn the optimal ascent profile? Like, you could test that. You could test that and see if it uh, gets better. Every time you launch a rocket design with MechJib, if it gets better, I honestly don't know if I believe that. That would be very, very com I wonder how it keeps track of that. I'm just doing the cadet profile here. 1.7 on the pad, full throttle all the way, pitch maneuver that looks like this, pretty aggressive. Burn. We're going to 75, right, Kamuchi? Just one launch. The second time it knows the best one. I would like to see MechJeb launch the same rocket three or four times and see if it gets better. That would actually be very interesting. I don't have any Dr. Pepper. I haven't had any Dr. Pepper for the longest time. I'm out of Dr. Pepper. They're saying MechJeb learns. Oh, that nice purple screen. All right, 50, then we roll over like this. I like this profile so much. It's so easy to fly. You just, it's, you, pr you press the D key. You press space and D, and that's how you go to space. All right, that's 75, but I went a little high. But I'm honestly gonna have to maintain 75 till I get up out of the atmosphere. I'm not really gonna worry about it right now. I will put additional Delta V in whenever we get over here, you know? Usually going up to about 85 is better. It's going down very slowly now, so I can put some more Delta V into this. There we go. That looks good. That should just go down really slowly. I'll put
put it like 20 or 30 over. That should be fine now that we're eight, that we're going to the atmosphere. That was a very, 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 that's a minute 17. Usually I have a minute 33 left. So if I fly this exactly, I'll have 